Hi, this is Colleen. I wanted to share this project with you. Um, I got this idea from um, a do-it-yourself-network.com and there's a show called Be Originals and she does a lot of um, art projects from um, natural materials and does a lot of organic things and she made these are coasters made from tree limbs and I we had some in our backyard I also got some from my friend Martha and what you want to do is let it dry out make sure it's not wet and my husband put it on his table saw and cut them about half inch thick and then uh, my daughter who is very artistic uh, she drew with a pencil I had her put a chickadee and then um, I took my heat tool and I traced sorry about that I traced her pencil outline it's you gotta push hard on there and go pretty slow maybe if I had one that got a little bit hotter it might go quicker but um, trace your image and when you're done make sure you sand it uh, sand the uh, piece of wood both sides and the you know, edges then after that's done you might want to cover it with like a varnish and that way when it's done you can set your glass on here and there you go I got a coaster um, I have a lot of um, uh, natural uh, wood materials in my family room so this goes really well with my decor so I thought I'd share this with you if um, anyone else has these type of things in their house or you could do it with something else but I thought this is pretty cool so I'm almost done with this flower and I'm making this for Martha she loves lilies and I wanted to and I'm making these coasters for her and as you can see the pencil outlines that my daughter drew and you can see where I've been uh, burning it along the edge so I'm going to I was going to finish this up in front of you and show you how this works so you have to push pretty hard and you can see it's smoking and then go pretty slow and you trace along your pencil lines and it's really pretty easy now granted the piece of wood is uneven and not perfect but that's all right because oops I went off camera I'm sorry and so you just keep going over it the hardest part is you have to keep your hand back behind this plastic so you don't burn yourself and it's a little hard to grip this but um, after a while you get used to it um, so like I said you want to trace your pencil lines I'm rotating it so I can see it I don't have the best of light down here um, let's keep tracing it and it don't have to be perfect because after all I mean you're going for this natural uh, organic look and um, I think it's a lot of fun it's eco-friendly you're making coasters out of tree limbs um, one other thing that she did with this project is that she made some ornaments for your tree with it which was pretty cool I did not get around to doing that myself but my daughter made some for hers we we had uh, real trees this year uh, thanks to Martha they have a, a tree farm and that's where we got our tree and anyway we wanted to put natural elements on our tree so I put pine cones um, and stuff like that on it but if you wanted to how they know how she made coasters with it is so you have this one you can see is quite a bit smaller and so you would again draw your design with your pencil burn the image sand it and then put some varnish on it and then when you're done with that let me lay my heat tool down then you take a drill and you would just want to you know, pick a spot and just drill a hole and of course I'm running out of juice on mine and of course mine came in so that's supposed to happen but mine's running out of juice and then you take an eye, a screw eye 
sorry about this. Ooh. Okay, then you take a screw eye and you want to put that in here. And you screw this in. Of course, like I said, I didn't get my hole drilled very well. Well, you want to screw this in the end and it does work very well when you have a charged up drill. Anyway, then you would put your your hook on here and hang it on your tree. So, anyway, um, I just wanted to share this project with you. Um, here's some of the others I made. Besides, you saw me you saw me finish this one. All right, here's another one. I did. Here's another type of lily. This one's pretty cool because it has uh, a hole in it. And here's another one. And so you can see how fun this is. So I made these for Martha because she loves lilies. This is her passion. And these are cool coasters for your glasses. And like I said, I have some I made for myself with birds because I love birds. And like this piece, you can see that we trim from a limb is really cool because it has the hole in it. You know, it's got the cool edge. And um, this would be a neat coaster too. I haven't decided what I'm going to put on it yet. But anyway, um, have fun. Try it out. Um, get you a heat tool. It's a lot of fun to work with, but you do have to be careful because you can get burnt very easily. And um, I got this at Michael's. And um, it, it's not super great, but I think for a beginner, find out where you like it or not, this is great. And I think if you're going to do this for a lot of projects, you want to probably have a better one. It would, you know, be a little bit hotter and work a little bit better. But anyway, um, I will see you guys later. And thank you for tuning in. And leave a comment. Thank you. Bye.